neurology, neurosurgery, neuropsychiatry, neuroscience, neuropsychology. These terms seem familiar to you, isn't it? But what about neuromanagement? Perhaps not, because it's fresh from the oven. I'm here to introduce a few key points about neuromanagement to you, which is the latest in the field of social science and management studies. I've got a model of the human brain in my hand. Human brain used to be like a dark continent in the human science studies for all these years. But then suddenly 1990 to 2000 was declared as the decade of the brain and then 2000 to 2010 decade of the behavior and now we are in the midst of the decade of the mind. Extensive research has been conducted over all these de two decades and a half and but still the brain looks like today like the crescent of the moon. We know only 50 to 20 percent about this brain but whatever we know based on that there is a new science proposed called neuromanagement. Although we know very little about our own brain, still we are very clear about two facts. Number one, the central nervous system comprising the brain and the spinal cord has evolved most randomly. Number two, we utilize the central nervous system's immense powers in a most unsystematic manner in our family, social and work roles. Sometimes we abuse or wrongly use placing ourselves and others in stressful situations. Proper gainful management of the central nervous system is what is neuromanagement. Suitably applied Neuromanagement can answer questions like why we behave, how we behave in organizations. It can help us to take the best decisions and solve critical problems most effectively, all very consciously, taking advantage of the various levels of decision centers in the central nervous system. We have a decision center at our gut level, we have another one at the heart level and at the head level which also has three level operational hierarchy within itself culminating in the highest center is neocortex which is most developed in humans. The most interesting and most practical aspect of neuromanagement is the discovery of neuroplasticity principle. According to the neuroplasticity principle, the cell-to-cell -cell connections between the neurons are never fixed. They can be changed and they can be changed by applying certain techniques which have been well researched. And by using this neuroplasticity principle, we can maximize our positivity and to minimize negativity. We can change bad habits like procrastination, like impulsive behavior. And we can use techniques like cognitive behavior therapy, music therapy, and certain other techniques. Neuromanagement is simply fascinating. I'm delving deep into it and would like to share practical tips with you from time to time.